uh, let's start from the very beginning. Where did you grow up? I grew up in New York, uh, primarily South Side, Jamaica, Queens. South Side, what up? Okay. Okay. And you and Pac are brothers, but you have different different parents? We have different mothers. Different mothers. And my, my father, you know, raised us together for the time when he was oh. free. Oh, so okay. So we, we raised his brothers. We lived together as kids and, you know, for, for a little while. Okay. So, so since Pac was three, you guys were in the same household? From, from three until, like, like, what age? Like, from when he was four to five, I think. Okay. So, so, so for a few years? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you guys got super close during this time? Well, he was a shorty, so, you know, I, my pops got to have me for that, that period of time, and, you know, he was still little, but uh, we bonded, but then I went back to stay with my moms in Queens. Okay, and, and you're older than Pac? Yeah. Okay. You know, my, my, my father, Faney, Pac, my sister, they were in Harlem, okay. you know, at that, that time. Okay. So... So you went to go live with your mom at one point, and at what point did, did you and Pac get reunited? In the Bay Area, Old Town, what up? Uh, we reconnected in the Bay. Um, I had just gotten out the Army, and uh, I went to, the, to Oakland to, to, you know, set up my new camp on the West Coast. Okay. Now, I know Pac was living in um, Marin for a while. Is that is it yeah. during that time? Yeah, at that that time, yeah. Okay, so so how how old were you at the time? You know, when, when you and Pac got reunited in the Bay. I was like twenty. I was like twenty three. Okay, and and how long? How much time passed? You know, from the the time that you guys saw each other at that point. It had been about eight or nine years. Okay. I mean, you know, my pops was uh, is a revolutionary. You know, he's a political prisoner, and he was on FBI's Tim Most Wanted list. So he was underground. When he went underground, the family scattered. Okay. And your father is? Dr. Matulu Shakur. Okay. Cool. So, so Pac actually took your father's last name. Is that, is that Basically, correct? Basically, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Now, now, when you say revolutionary, what exactly... Was your dad involved in, and what what ultimately happened to him? Uh, my father was a um, um, a a a man of the people. He he's a healer. He's actually an acupuncture doctor. Okay. He went abroad so. to China and um, I think Canada to study and came back and. Um, he opened up a practice, but he was also heavily involved in um, the revolutionary movement that was going on with the Black Panthers and the BLA. And um, the BLA is the Black Liberation Army. Okay. So was he officially a Black Panther, or just he was just sort of affiliated with them? Oh, uh, oh yeah. I mean, and some. So your dad was with Afeni at the time. Afeni. Yes. Uh, Afeni. I'm sorry. Yeah. She was a fanny. <clears throat> a fanny is a black panther as well. So this was, yeah, th this was a household where both parents were heavily into the movement. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, so what was it like being a being a kid, you know, growing up in this? I mean, were you involved in the meetings and stuff like that, sitting in on them and so forth? Yes, and they were boring as hell <laughs> as a little kid. <laughs> so uh, the good thing at those uh, meetings and events um, because a lot of uh, 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 women would be involved as well. Their kids would be there and uh -huh. there'll be kids for us to hang out with and kick it with, you know, children okay. of the movement who had what we were going through in common, you know, the same, being raised the same way around the same people with the same type of mindset, you know, we had that in common. So. Um, that's what was going down. Okay. And, and uh, how did Pac sort of react during that time? Same type of thing? He just thought, you know, he'd hang out with the other kids or did he try to get involved a little bit? 
Oh, I mean, he was just as bored as me. He <laughs> playing with the kids, but every once in a while, you said, you know, as a kid, yeah. <laughs> uh, you, the short attention span, mm -hmm. you, there might be, you know, 10, 15 seconds, and then we, we off. You know, it's like, um, it was too much for us to fully understand, but it sticks with you over time. You recall certain things and yeah. certain, you know. You know, with, with both parents being in the Black Panther Party um, and, and all the, you know, with the COINTELPRO that was going on during the time with the arrests and everything else like that, like, what were some of the things that you witnessed, at, you know, being a kid during that time? I witnessed a lot of protests. I uh, was also part of you know, certain, certain uh, uh, um, activities. I didn't know what it really meant, but I remember as a kid going around New York, we, there was these pink, <laughs> there was these pink pieces of paper with a pig on it. And it was, it said F the pigs. I right. didn't know what F meant, but <laughs> I like putting the pig up around, around the city. So we go around New York putting up F the pig posters. I mean, you know, just stuff like that, that, you know, people don't understand. You never got in any, any kind of trouble doing that? No. Well, like uh, no, no cops no. didn't try to... <laughs> no, no, not, no. Uh, I mean, did they you... They kept us safe, you know. It, it, it was, um, you know, um, a, a peaceful protest. Sure. I FaceTimed him, FaceTimed me, you know what I'm saying? We talked it out. Hold a grudge, I had a grudge, he had a grudge, you know what I'm saying? We killed to put it in the middle of the flow. You know I'm saying it's over with now. So we working. Bow wow. Do I have to go through this? I'm gonna plead the fifth. See, here's what happens. You have to understand. This is like player failure. Player failure is when you call out people and then other people get afraid you might call them out. 